Spinal stenosis is a medical condition that involves the narrowing of the spinal canal or the openings through which the spinal nerves pass. This narrowing can put pressure on the spinal cord and nerves, leading to a variety of symptoms, including pain, numbness, weakness, and difficulty with balance and walking. Spinal stenosis most commonly occurs in the lumbar, lower back, and cervical, neck, regions of the spine. Here is an overview of spinal stenosis. Types of spinal stenosis Lumbar spinal stenosis this is the most common type and occurs in the lower back. It typically affects older adults and is often related to degenerative changes in the spine, such as the development of bone spurs or thickened ligaments. Cervical spinal stenosis. This type affects the neck area of the spine and can lead to symptoms in the arms, hands, and legs. Cervical spinal stenosis can result from age-related changes, injury, or congenital conditions. Causes Aging, as people age, the spine undergoes degenerative changes, such as the loss of disc height, the development of osteoarthritis, and the formation of bone spurs. These changes can contribute to spinal stenosis. Herniated discs, a herniated or bulging disc can protrude into the spinal canal causing narrowing and pressure on the spinal cord or nerves. Trauma, injuries to the spine, such as fractures or dislocations, can lead to spinal stenosis. Congenital conditions, some individuals are born with a narrower spinal canal, increasing their risk of developing stenosis. Symptoms, the symptoms of spinal stenosis can vary depending on the location and severity of the narrowing. Common symptoms include pain in the back, legs, neck, or arms, numbness or tingling in the extremities, weakness in the muscles of the arms or legs, difficulty with balance and walking, Radiating pain that worsens with standing or walking and improves with sitting or bending forward, typical of lumbar stenosis. Pain, numbness, or weakness that may be aggravated by certain neck movements, typical of cervical stenosis. Diagnosis Diagnosis typically involves a combination of medical history assessment, physical examination, and diagnostic imaging studies, such as X-rays, CT scans, or MRI scans. Treatment Treatment options for spinal stenosis may vary based on the severity of symptoms and the individual's overall health. Common approaches include Conservative management. This may include physical therapy, pain management, and lifestyle modifications to alleviate symptoms. Medications, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, muscle relaxants, and pain medications can help manage pain and inflammation. Epidural steroid injections, these injections can provide temporary relief from pain and inflammation. Surgery, in severe cases where conservative treatments are not effective, Surgical procedures such as laminectomy or spinal fusion may be considered to relieve pressure on the spinal cord or nerves. It's essential for individuals experiencing symptoms of spinal stenosis to seek medical evaluation and treatment to prevent further progression and improve their quality of life. Treatment decisions should be made in consultation with a healthcare professional based on the specific circumstances and needs of the patient.